This is a demonstration of how to withdraw medication from an ampule. I will begin by gathering my supplies. First, I need the ampule, the medication that the patient is going to be receiving. I need a syringe that is the size that would hold the medication. I need two needles. One needle needs to be filtered, which I will touch on in a moment. And the other needle is, is for um, using to administer the medication to the patient. I also will need a piece of gauze to open the ampule, um, or an alcohol prep would work, a sterile two by two or three by three, or an alcohol prep would work for this. Um, a patient label to label my syringe with the medication, a trash container, and a sharps container. I will begin by taking my ampule and checking my ampule of the medication against the order that the patient is to receive. I also want to check the expiration date on the ampule to make sure that it is good. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open my ampule. Today I'm going to use a 3x3. Three three. What I want to do is wrap my gauze around the neck of the ampule so that when I open it, this gauze will protect my hands from the sharp glass so that I don't get cut. Another thing that I want to do before I open this is just gently tamp my ampule if there's liquid or medication in it so that it goes to the main part of the ampule so that the medication is in the, is in the ampule. What I will do is wrap the gauze around the neck of it. I'm going to go ahead and crack and open it, and I'm going to do this away from me so that there are not splinters of glass that are going towards me. At this point, I have the top of the ampule in my gauze, and it's sharp on the edge, so I will go ahead and put it in my sharps container. Next, I'm going to prepare my syringe so that I can withdraw my medication. Today I have a 3 ml syringe. I'm going to attach a filtered needle to my syringe. There's a potential that there are glass shards in my medication from opening this glass ampule, and this filtered needle will keep the glass shards from being in my syringe and in my medication. I will put my needle in my medication, invert, and withdraw my medication. Noting that even when I invert my ampule, the medication does not pour out of it. At this point, I'm going to dispose of my ampule in my sharps container. I will recap passively my needle. This is my filtered needle. I'm now going to change my needle so that I would be able to administer my medication to my patient. I will dispose of my filtered needle in my sharps container. At this point, I'm going to label my syringe with a patient label, and it will include the medication, the route the medication will have, and the dose. 